stretches from McKinley all the way to Capitol Drive between 7th and 2nd Streets. Sarah McGrew has a closer look at the work he's done in the past five years and what's next. Over the last five years, DeShay AG has played a big role in creating a King Drive Milwaukee can be proud of. Really being able to attract uh, new businesses, uh, numerous black and brown owned businesses right here in the neighborhood, um, and overall just building what, what we call the best King Drive in the nation. And that didn't necessarily come easily with a negative perception often following King Drives. Speaking from a you know national perspective, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King drives, boulevards, avenues have a, um, a image of being blighted, being disinvestment and also being unsafe. He says Milwaukee's King Drive has also suffered from that stigma. Although that's not the case today. Over the years, he has supported the creation of 20 black and brown owned businesses, expanded the business improvement district, also known as a bid to include an additional 80 properties. And he was involved in the development of Victory Over Violence Park, to name just a few initiatives. It's been exciting to be part of that, you know, under DeShay's leadership. But now, AG is stepping down from his role. It could be a really good time to, um, to, to see what uh, other uh, avenues could be pursued to uh, help really improve our, our city as a whole. So what's next for him? That I won't say just yet. But one thing's for sure, the historic King Drive bid will continue its mission and will soon begin searching for its next director. I'm bringing on someone else to be able to um, have that same vision, have that same drive in order to uh, continue with the work that has begun. And to Shay's mark, will have a lasting impact. I really want to be able to have my kids on the street, you know, in the future, um, you know, maybe riding a streetcar and being able to just having um, having an experience that, you know, but for me being here uh, working at the bid, they wouldn't be able to experience. And that's the same for so many others. DeShay's last official day in office is tomorrow, but he says he'll be sticking around a few months and advising part time until a new director is hired. Reporting from King Drive, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.